A man in California was arrested for issuing fraudulent parking tickets to vehicles in the beach area of Santa Cruz Wednesday evening. Now, let's look at how, let's look at these tickets and how realistic they were. So, here is a picture from the Santa Cruz Police Department of the tickets. Let's let's get a closer look at the fake tickets. This next graphic, so you can see it a little bit better. It's written in Comic Sans. The ticket is written in Comic Sans font. It has three different fonts on it, and it has clip art. It has clip art palm trees at the top and a QR code with a palm tree in the middle of it. So I'm sorry if you if you fell for this, you kind of deserve to get scammed, in my opinion. But uh, so you must be from California, though. Because think about it, think about it. As a as a country bumpkin southerner. If I saw the other one with the comics, I'm thinking like, hmm, that's interesting. California's very different. That's, <laughs> you know, you know, but I ain't got no time to be trying to go to California jail or pay a California fine. It's more than this one because y'all are already expensive about that. So I think like, okay, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie though. I'm, I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. It looked like that ticket was made by a middle schooler that got given a project. <laughs> like, hey, we're gonna redesign tickets and tell me what you want the ticket to look like. And they gave that. Um. <laughs> you know, it's like a little more, uh, it's a little more cutesy than the uh, parking tickets I've gotten here in Chicago. But let's let's uh, take a closer look at the person who was making these <laughs> fraudulent tickets. Fox News reported the Santa Cruz police said 19-year-old Damian Vela of Watsonville was charged with unlawful use of computer systems and attempted fraud after he admitted to creating and issuing fake parking tickets. The department said it received reports of the fraudulent citations on Thursday and began investigating. Article continues on, the police department said the fake citations included a QR code directing those who received the tickets to a website for payment. Police are not sure how many citations Vela issued or if any of the victims paid the bogus citations. When Vela admitted to the crime, he said he did not receive any payments. And I think one of the reasons he didn't receive any payments is because of the website that the QR code took you to. Let's pull this up. Now, I want you to know in the audience that that first image, we didn't scroll and crop out the words. If you go to the website, you cannot read the words on the top. They are always cut off the screen. And then the other part of the website says, think we got something wrong? We don't want to put a bummer in your summer. This man was putting these tickets on people's cars in December. This whole thing was going on in December. So the question is how much are the tickets? 40 40 bucks, $40. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry, kid. Like, yeah, you know, I had to make a website for one of my classes in law school this year. There's a lot of really like easy to use website making yeah. machines. Why is your website so busted? It's so busted, but we gotta give them the credit too, right? We didn't start the show, but given the X Man Fact Ray, you gave a phenomenal capitalistic analysis. And I just think the 19 year old is just seeing the supply, the man, he already figured out capitalism. This yeah. exploitation and taking advantage of people. Well, I'm in the mood to exploit and take advantage. To me, it's like, think about it. He just used all the tools of capitalism. Mm-hmm. He tried to use it to his advantage, you feel me? All he needed was a couple of lobbyists, a couple of bureaucrats, a couple of interest groups, and he probably could have got away with it. Yeah, I mean, and that really makes me think about the way that we do parking here in Chicago. So a few years back, uh, our mayor got in a horrible deal and sold our city's parking to a private organization. So the city does not even make the money from the parking tickets they issue. It goes to a a, a third party, a private party. Uh, so there's no like leeway if your car gets ticketed or towed for you as a Chicago resident. Now you're dealing with a private corporation instead of like have getting to argue your rights with a you know a city that owes you certain things before they deprive you of your property and it's it's a money making scheme that but doesn't benefit the city it makes it harder to put in bike lanes because these companies don't want to give up those parking spots where their meters are um and it's just really been a huge detriment to the people of the city so you know i mean that's just what this kid was doing is the same thing that they do here in chicago definitely 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 and i think it also shows that when it comes to making capitalistic analysis the distinction between private property and personal property is one that has to be made we see what happened in south africa and what's going on and i guess california how people are able to take quote unquote private property and try to you know generate a surplus of profit from that private property. We mm-hmm. see in both instances what's going on in California and what happens, you know what I'm saying, in South Africa, even though one of them did with racism and the other one is just like a dumb capitalist. 
We recognize that private property and how private property is being used against peoples is what is being weaponized and what is being taken advantage of.